The aim of the sketch mode is to enable us to modify and correct downloaded items from 3D warehouse or BIM object and so on in a clean, empty environment independently of our current project. Let's see an example of it. We want to download a known object from the BIM object library. We know the name of the object. It is a hex suspended lamp produced by Scale. Select the item and click on the download button to download the lamp in Revit RFA format. After downloading the lamp, the program automatically switches to sketch mode. The project we've been working on is saved and the downloaded item is loaded into an empty environment. The information dialog provides a brief information on how to work in sketch mode. Select the 3D view and delete any unnecessary details. Such a detail is a piece of the ceiling or the loft balloon symbolizing the light source. The item is upside down, not the way we need in our plan. The next step is to turn the lamp around. Select all the elements in the 3D window, then by clicking on the red, blue, green axis, the elements can be rotated in 90 degree directions or can be mirrored to the plane perpendicular to the axis using the new commands available here. In this case, the blue arrow must be selected and the mirror to the perpendicular plane command. We have achieved a geometrically correct state of the downloaded item, so we can create a new object from it and then we can add light source and materials. To do this, click on the sketch mode group on the ribbon bar and select the new object command. The command selects all the 3D elements in the 3D window and keeps their beam parameters. In the dialog, you can see the name of the item. This is exactly the same with which we have downloaded it. Then select the category we want to place it in. This will be the lightning and ceiling lights. If we know the manufacturer's name, we can add that too. The BIM parameters have not been removed during the download and they are also added to our new object. For example, you can see the manufacturer's name and other relevant product information here. Press the OK button to create and save the new object to the library. Then we can close the sketch mode and return to our project. Click on the recent models and as a newly created object our new lamp will be added to this list. It is a quick way to find it in the library. Then place the element in 3D and move it towards the ceiling. In the next step, we will change the materials assigned to the lamp. The material of the body of the lamp, which is now a color, will be replaced with a transparent material. We choose a medium transparent lens. One more step is left. A light source must be added to the object. This can be done by selecting a light source from the global light sources in the Light Manager dialog. Place the light source in the center of the body of the lamp. The next step is to save the lamp to the library, which means that the object is converted to a real lamp that contains a light source. We have created a lamp. We have successfully downloaded a model made by the manufacturer and we have created a custom element from it which has arcline properties. The last step is to start a quick rendering where the artificial light is enabled. 